match its action with its words. So the government has reiterated its commitment to implement the Abaya Hastam six guarantees. I may point out that two components of two guarantees have been implemented and another two guarantees are being implemented soon. I hope and I trust that the remaining components of six guarantees, including Mahalachmi, Raitu Barosa, Indramma, Indulu, che, 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 uh, Yuta, and Yuva Vikasam will be implemented at the earliest before the 100 days deadline, which ends on 5th of March, 15th of March. Sir. So that, uh, that, Honorable Speaker, sir, the Deputy CM Saab had assured that all promises made during the election campaigning would be fulfilled and five declarations for farmers, youth, SCSTs, BCs, and minorities would be implemented. So he has pointed out the state budget has proposed 53,196 crores for implementation of schemes under the six guarantees. He has assured that the additional funds would be provided once a complete assessment is made about the financial requirements of all guarantees, declaration, and promises, sir. So, Honorable Speaker, sir, so through you, sir, we are having a white paper on the finance, the financial position of the state. We have, all, we have also had a white paper on power, sir. And now we, have, we, have, we, are, we are also going to have a white paper on irrigation, I believe. So I think, sir, after all the white papers, whichever the government wants, one white, white paper on behalf of opposition should also be discussed. And this should be regarding the implementation of six guarantees, sir. Sir, I wish him all the best in this regard. Since he has to perform and deliver in the context of the uh, resource constraints that the state government faces. Sir, it is only a vote on account budget and a full budget is likely to be presented sometime during forthcoming July and after the Lok Sabha elections. However, the state budget of, uh, for the year 24-25 mirrors the likely scenario of state finances of the next financial year, sir. Sir, as per the budget estimate of 24-25, the total receipts are expected to be rupees 2,74,185.71 crores and the total expenditure is anticipated to be rupees 2,75,890. 0.69 crores, sir. So these figures represent, uh, re represent a sharp decline from the budget estimates of the, of the year 2023 and 2024, but show a substantial increase over the revised estimate of 23-24. I do hope, I do hope that when the full-fledged budget is presented, sometime in July we may have a clear picture of the receipts and allocations, sir. So, the received estimates works out to rupees 22,849.89 crores per month, and the expenditure estimate comes to 22,990.89 crores per month, sir. Per month, sir. Sir, the estimate, the received estimates include the loan and other borrowings of rupees 53,279.82 crores during the financial year 2024 and 2025. And this comes to rupees 4,435.65 crores per month. Sir. So the interest payment in the financial year comes to 22,751.82 crores. That is rupees 1,895.98 crores per month. Hence, during the four-month period of water account, April to July 2024, the borrowings would come up to 17,742.60 crores. I repeat, sir, the borrowings would come to rupees 17,742.60 crores. Honorable Speaker, sir, I may point out that as per the accounts of the year 2022 and 23, the borrowings of the state government, otherwise called as fiscal deficit, amounted to rupees 32,556.50 crores. The revised estimate is rupees 33,785.83 crores in the current financial year, that is uh, for, uh, 2023 and 2024. In the next financial year, 2024 and 2025, the Telangana government will be borrowing rupees 53,227.82 crores, that is rupees 19,848.99 crores, sir. Sir, through you, sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, 
I would like the deputy CM Saab to clarify whether the Congre Congress, which has been present in the state legislature as the opposition, was unaware of the state of affairs of the state finances in the last 10 years since the formation of Telangana. So the, if the party was aware, if the party was aware, then the question arises as to how the Congress has been very liberal in coming up with the six guarantees, five de declarations, and over 300 promises in its manifesto for the assembly elections of 2023, which requires enormous allocation of tens of thousands of crores. Sir, sir if we have to go once again, once again, sir, I'm repeating, for Mahalachmi scheme, sir, the requirement per month, as per my calculation, only to the BPL families would be 2,249. Per annum, it would be 26,997, sir. Gas cylinder for rupees 500, providing 12 cylinders per annum only to BPL families, per month the requirement would be 5,399.40 crores. And per annum, sir, it will be 2,699.70. Free travel for women, sir, per annum, as per my calculation, 3,600. Farmers' financial assistance of 15,000 per acre. Tenant farmers, sir, per month, 1,54,040, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 crore 54,40,518, sir. Acres of land, sir, the amount required per annum for this would be 23,160.87, sir. Sir, rupees 12,000 per annum for 32 lakhs, Manrega job card holders, agriculture labor, sir. The available labors are 32 lakhs, sir. For that, 3,840 crores, sir. Sir, a bonus of rupees 500 for paddy per quintal providing 1.5 crores, 15 crore quintals. The requirement per annum would be 7,500, sir. Sir, and also waiver of crop loans of rupees 2 lakhs. Sir, if we have to calculate these, sir, sir, then the amount is coming to 36,000 crores, sir. Sir, now, sir, Again, as per the record, 69 lakh farmers are there. Agar usko hum pura detail mein gaye vagar, hum agar jate hain sab, Telangana state has um, state has also total extensions of 2.40 crore acre of agricultural land in 1.7 lakh crore, sir. Agar isko bhi hum le lete hain, sir. And then we go to Gruha Jyoti, the third guarantee, sir, 200 unit free electricity for all household according to the official figures, sir. There are 174.03 lakh power connections in the state, which is 125.56 lakhs connections according to 72.15% of the total consumers belong to domestic sector. If the domestic consumers are not charged up to 200 units of power per month, the total burden on the state would be anywhere around 4,800, sir. Sir, also, sir, for this Dalit Bandi Ambitkar Abhaya Hastam, sir. That has also been announced, sir, in the third guarantee, Indrama Indulu, Yuva Vikasam, sir. Sir, in this Indrama Indulu, sir, house sites and rupees 5 lakh financial assistance for Indrama houses for 3,500 per constituency, sir, it works out to 25,000 crores per annum, sir. Sir, Yuva Vikasam Vidya Barosa card, financial assistance card, of rupees 5 lakhs will be provided, sir, for the students. Sir, for that, again, 38,894.22 crores would be required, sir. Sir, if we go further ahead, implementation of Vidya Jyotalu Patakam Abdul Kalam Tofe Talim scheme and rupees 25,000 upon graduation, 15,000 for intermediate, 10,000 student and passing of 10th grade, the total requirement would be 6,476 crores, sir. Sir, MPhil PhD, as per All India Survey on Higher Education books, sir, 2019 and 20, 5,881 students have enrolled. So for this, sir, 5 lakhs rupees, 294.05 crores per month would be required. Postgraduate students, 1,84,520 at the rate of 1 lakh. For this, 1,845.20 crores would be required. Graduates 10,000, 10,78,781. 10, 
at the rate of 25,000 for the current academic year 23-24, or total of four four uh, crores nine uh, four lakhs nine thousand four hundred fifty seats are available for intake of 986 colleges in the state. Per month requirement for this would be 2,696.95. Inter students, sir, again I have all the calculations. The amount required per month will be 1,221. SSC March. 4,19,460 students have passed, sir. And at the rate of 10,000, the amount required would be 419.46 crores. Che Yuta, monthly pension 4,000. For this, sir, 1,850 crores would be required, sir. Sir, for these six guarantees, the amount that would be required per annum would be 2,15,568.45. I might be wrong, sir. This is why I'm demanding a white paper discussion is required, sir. Sir, at the same time, going further ahead, sir, there are other prom promises also in, uh, also in the manifesto, like ele electric scooters will be provided to all young women above 18 years. For that, sir, I have done my own calculation, sir. The required per annum would be 3,37,000.24 crore, sir. Farmer be, be, uh, will be given interest-free crop loans. For that, 8,225 crores is required. Ambedkar Abhaya Hastam, 30,000 crores is required. House sites and all, again 30,000. Martyrs of first and last phase of Telangana moment will be identified officially. Reorganized and government jobs will be given to one person from their family. Additional monthly honorarium of rupees 20,000, 25,000 will be given. Ye pura agar iske hisab se jate hai, sir. So 60 crores per annum is required for that. Then youth commission will be set up to provide interest-free loan up to 10 lakhs. Agar wo dekhte hai, 10,000 crores are required. Monthly honorarium for of rupees 10,000, 12,000 for priests from all religion include Imam, Mazan, Khadim, pastors, Granthis. At present, 17,000 is the strength. So for that, 244 per, per annum is required. 1,010 grams of gold in Dramma gift to Hindu and rupees 1,60,000 for minority girls at the time of their marriage. If they take that, then 5,113 5 5,113.77 crores. Sir, if we have to see midday meal workers, sir, as per the manifesto of Congress, again per annum for this, 996 is required. Monthly salaries for Anganwani teachers will be increased to rupees 18,000 and rest is there, sir. For that, the requirement would be 1 lakh Sorry, 1,335.60 crores. We will be providing monthly honorarium of rupees 1,500 to village panchayat, sir. For that, 160 crores would be required per annum. For PRC of government employees and RTC staff, and implementation is a recommendation within six months. Sir, RTC ke baare mein, uske liye per annum, 2,000 is required. Provide financial assistance of rupees 12,000 per year to auto rickshaw drivers. And requirement is 537 crores, sir. Also, it has been promised that we will provide monthly honorarium of 5,000 public distribution ration dealers, sir. For that, the requirement is 103 crores. So, 25 lakhs assistance will be provided to students belonging to SCST, BC minorities, pursuing higher, higher education. Estimated 5,000 students per annum, sir. Rupees 25 lakhs into 5,000. That will again be 1,250 crores, sir. Remuneration of guest faculty in all junior degree colleges will be enhanced to rupees 42,000 and 52,000 per month and rest. Sir, for that the requirement will be 43.36 crores. Monthly remuneration of 5,000 to all practicing lawyers up to five years. Average 2,000, sir, if we take at 5,000, the requirement would be 12 crores per annum. 3,000 will be paid as pension to folk artists who cross 50 years, sir. If they take them, it's 7.2 crores. Monthly living stipend of 3,000 for all the folk artists will be paid average 3,000 numbers, 10.80 crores. And then 12,000 financial assistance per month or for incident and lab, for lamps of to Hindu temples, sir, they will be given for the and for the other things, 144 crores. And Aragashiri package enhancement up to rupees 10 lakh treatment in all diseases, 1,200 crore to fulfill all these promises, sir. The requirement would be 
थ्री लैख सेवन थाउजेंड जीरो वन टू पॉइंट एट सिक्स एज पर माई कैलकुलेशन सर सो आई माइट बी रॉन्ग सर आई माइट बी रॉन्ग आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि आई एम परफेक्ट इन दिस और राइट दिस इज वाई आई डिमांड दैट अ वाइट पेपर नीड्स टू बी टेबल एंड वी नीड टू हैव अ डिस्कशन सर बिकॉज द पीपल अ वोटेड फॉर दीज प्रोमिस सर एंड इट इज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू फुलफिल द प्रोमिस मेड बिफोर द इलेक्शन सर so the deputy cms have has pointed out that gsdp of telangana at current prices has grown from rupees 13 lakhs 2371 crores in in the year 2223 to rupees 14 lakhs 49708 crore in current year that is 2023 and 24 sir however the gsdp growth rate declined from 14.7% in 2223 to 11.3% in 2324 due to fall due to a fall in primary sector growth owing to adverse seasonal conditions sir so the per capita income of telangana at current prices also increased to rupees 343279 in the year 2324 from rupees 309912 in the year 2223 thus the deputy cm saab contradicts himself when he blames the previous government for miss managing the state's economy and finances and turning a prosperous prosperous state into a begging bowl sir under the good governance through you i would request the government to revive the district development review committee in district in the state to provide a forum to review of developmental activities by the legislatures and mps in the respective districts sir sir on major issues and decision relating to the policy the government should call all party meeting to discuss these matter before decisions are taken sir we welcome the promise to introduce the right to public service act apart from setting up comprehensive portal for receiving and addressing public complaints and grievances sir deputy cm saab have has also spoken at length about scst bc minority women and child welfare sir however there is no mention of scst special development fund and similar sub plan proposed for backward classes and minorities in his long speech sir sir with the new schemes proposed under six guarantees the declaration and other poll promises there has to be a big jump in allocation of funds for the scst minorities and women child welfare however a closer look at the allocation mentioned by the deputy cm saab reveals that the allocation of scst have been reduced substantially to 2425 for the year 22 2425 compared to the budget estimate of 20 for the year 2023 and 24 sir allocation of backward classes and women and child welfare have been raised significantly but the allocation of minority welfare represents a modest increase sir there has been no mention of mahalakshmi scheme on provision of rupees 2500 monthly assistance to women in every household in the budget document if even if assistance to only one woman in each bpl family that is 1 crore ration card holder is given the allocation required for assistance is rupees 30000 crore sir honorable speaker sir i do hope that a full fledged budget will set out the priorities programs schemes of the congress government for the all round development of the state and welfare of all sections of people sir <laughs> sir i may recall the call of congress manifesto promised to introduce minority sub plan as also bc sub plan to be named after mahatma jyoti bai phule the manifesto assured the congress government will spend 20000 crores per annum per annum amounting to rupees 1 lakh crore in five year period for bc welfare but the allocation of rupees 8000 crore in the vote on account budget indicates a huge shortfall of rupees 12000 crores in the allocation sir so similarly the congress has a short to enhance the minority welfare budget to rupees 4000 crores apart from another 1000 crores of provision of subsidized loans for minority youth and women election ke waqt wada kiya tha ki minorities aur akhliyaton ka budget 4000 crore hoga और उसके अलावा एक हजार कौर देंगे लेकिन जब हम आज देखते हैं तो हमको पता चलता है कि माइनॉरिटीज के लिए सिर्फ दो हजार दो सौ बासठ पॉइंट थ्री टू करोड़ अब ही दिया गया माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर के लिए ओटन अकाउंट बजट में जो हमारे बजट के इस साल के 2024 और 25 के साल में इन द करेंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर बजट एलोकेशन रुपीज 
2,112 crores BROs issued, 1,857.93 crores, and till now the actual expenditure is rupees 1,407.59 crores. That is only 64 percent, sir. Hardly 45 days left to complete the financial year. I request the government to release the payments from Treasury as early as possible so that this year budget will be utilized properly, sir. Sir, request for restoration of pre-matrix scholarship scheme for minority students, sir. I would like to recall that the state government in und undivided AP had introduced pre-matrix scholarship. Or your pre-matrix scholarship in 2007, we had done this in the middle of the year. And we had done this اس کا آغاز کروایا تھا لیکن آج پری میٹرک سکولرسپ سکیم سٹیٹ گورنمنٹ اس کو ڈسکنٹینیو کر دی ہے دوزار سولہ سترہ سے تو میں آپ کے ذریعے حکومت سے مطالبہ کروں گا کہ اس کو بھی آپ پھر سے شروع کریں سر آئی آلسر ایک پر دو گورنمنٹ ٹو ریلیز دا آٹی ایف ایم ٹی ایف پری میٹرک این اوورسپ سکولرسپ ڈیوز ٹو مانورٹی سٹوڈنٹس این انہینس دا میس چارجز این پاکٹ منی ایف مانورٹی Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, through you, I would like to bring to the, to the notice of the government is about the overseas scholarships of spring 2022 season. 250 applications were cleared, sir. 13 crores are required. And for fall 2022 season, uh, season 250 applications, sir, the amount required is 51.50. These are the dues, sir. The total dues are 64.50 crores in overseas, sir. Spring 2023 notification was issued. Verification process has happened. But we do not know ke kitne logo ko manzuri di gai hai ya nahi di gai hai. Or fall 2023 notification is pending with the government. Main aap ke zari hukumat se darkhaas karunga ke pending notification joe usko jari kariye taake log darkhaas de sakte hai overseas scholarship ke liye. And also, sir, pending demand, sir, of RTF and MTF. Sir, you would be surprised, sir, from the pending RTF for the year 2018 and 19 is 29 lakhs. MTF is 70, 72 lakhs. For the year 18 and 19, sir, the total dues which are to be cleared are 1 crore 1 lakh, sir. For the year 19 and 20, 1 crore 5 lakh in RTF and 74 lakh in NTF. MTF, the total is 1 crore 75 lakh, sir. For the year 2021, sir, the RTF 4.68 crores, MT8 5.66 crores. The total dues are 10 crores, 34 lakh, sir. Sir, and we have, if we have to see 21, 22, the RTF is 73.77, sir in crores, sir. And in MTF, 3 crores, 38 lakhs. The total dues are 77.15 crores, sir. 22-23, sir. RTF for minority students, sir. The pending is 191.52 crores and MTF 16.29 crores. The total dues are 2, not 7.81 crores. 23-24, it is under process. RTF Dues are 18.41, MTF are 7.03, and the total dues are 25.44 crores, sir. Sir, if we have to see the pending, sir, for RTF is 289.72 crores, for MTF it is 33.82 crores, and the total amount is 323.54 crores, sir. And all these bills are pending with the finance department, through you, I request the Finance Minister Saab, Deputy Chief Minister Saab, Chief Minister Saab and the government, sir, to kindly clear this pending bills which are there with the Finance Department, sir. So for the year 23-24, financial year scroll pending with the government treasury again, sir, it is 205. I request that this amount should be cleared, at least this amount, sir. I know in the supplementary, we have proposed 100 and I think some 132 crores for clearance of these dues, but that 132 would not be sufficient. I request that at least let us clear 200 crores so that what happens is that, Sir Honorable Speaker, Sir, this is not just the situations of minority students, Sir. 
the situation is the same for the BC students, for the SC students and all the students. मेरे उतना टाइम नहीं है बोल के मैं एससी एसटी और बी के बारे में पूरी तफसील है मेरे पास लेकिन काफी वक्त जाएगा मैं आपके जरिए हुकूमत से मुतालबा करूंगा कि माइनॉरिटी एससी एसटी और बी के जितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनकी आरटीएफ एमटीएफ जो पेंडिंग है जो चार चार साल तीन तीन साल से है उसको क्लियर करिए मैं जानता हूं कि फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन कैसा है मुझे मालूम है सारी बातें मैं ये कहूंगा एटलीस्ट आपके जरिए आपके जरिए हुकूमत से मैं ये दरखास्त करूंगा कि वी शुड राइट अ लेटर टू ऑल द कॉलेज ऑल द ट्रस्ट एंड द सोसाइटीज रनिंग द कॉलेज नॉट टू होल्ड द सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट हुटेड द कोर्सेज एटलीस्ट वी कैन ड्यू डू दिस देखिए देर हो रही है लेकिन मुझे यकीन है कि हुकूमत जरूर उन सारे ड्यूज को क्लियर करेगी सो वी शुड इश्यू अ लेटर टू द College is stating that that they they should should not hold the 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 certificates, they should release the certificates, release and government will make the payment. This is very important. Why I am why I am saying this, honourable speaker, sir, is that that after completing the course like engineering or any other professional course, they are going for interviews. एक नई नौकरी के लिए और नई नौकरी जब उनको मिल रही है, they are required to submit their credentials. सर्टिफिकेट्स देना है और वह सर्टिफिकेट्स कॉलेज के पास हैं तो उसको अगर अगर हम लेटर भेजते हैं कि सर्टिफिकेट्स को नहीं रोका जाए और सर्टिफिकेट्स को रिलीज कर दिया जाए पेंडिंग दिस पेमेंट तो मैं समझता हूं कि काफी स्टूडेंट्स का फायदा होगा और बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट जो ओवरसीज चले गए हैं जिनकी मंजूरी हुई है उनके पैसे भी जो रुके हुए हैं उसको भी अगर आप रिलीज करेंगे तो मैं समझता हूं के इसमें काफी फायदा होगा सर वाइल द वोट ऑन अकाउंट बजट एलिगेट वन थाउजेंड करोर फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ स्कूल बिल्डिंग फॉर रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल फॉर एस सी एंड रुपीज टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी करोर फॉर एस टीज एंड रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सिक्स करोर फॉर बी सी सर आई वेलकम दिस एलोकेशन सर आई वेलकम दिस एलोकेशन बट एट द सेम टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क द गवर्नमेंट वाई नो सच एलोकेशन इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर स्कूल बिल्डिंग ऑफ माइनॉरिटी रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल I welcome BCs ko diye welcome SCs ko diye welcome STs ko diye welcome minorities ko kyun bhul gaye is shayad kuch hua hoga main ummeed karta hu ki aap isko correct karenge aur minorities ko bhi isme lenge speaker sir uh, i would like to bring to the notice of uh, akbar saab through you sir you know minority residential schools also will be taken up maybe typological mistake and second uh, uh, suggestion what you gave is to address to all private institutions trusts and all uh, the government uh, basically our uh, education department we would like to do and write uh, immediately there is a right and a very positive suggestion made by you definitely we would be going by it <coughs> sir going further ahead with some new, uh, with some few more minority issues sir sir honorable speaker sir through you i request the state government to provide more powers to telangana work board in the form of giving <coughs> it a judicial powers kyunki aukhafi jaydade tabah ho rahi hain और कोई पुरसाने हाल नहीं है और ये एक लॉन्ग पेंडिंग डिमांड है एआईएमआईएम का कि जुडिशल पावर अगर आप वक्त बोर्ड को देंगे तो उसके जरिए हम औकाफी जायदादों की हिफाजत कर सकते हैं क्योंकि औकाफी जायदादें तबाह हो रही हैं वक्त बोर्ड इज फाइटिंग ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर ऑलमोस्ट फोर थाउजेंड केसेज इन वेरियस कोर्ट एंड वक्त ट्रिब्यूनल सर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस सर इसमें वक्त बोर्ड जो लड़ रहा है गवर्नमेंट के खिलाफ लड़ रहा है तो इसके लिए मैं बार बार सर ऑलमोस्ट मतलब लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स आई बीन स्क्रीमिंग शाउटिंग अबाउट द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ वर्क प्रॉपर्टी सर वन थिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड नीड नीडेड इज दैट सर कि हम एक रेवेन्यू ऑफिशियल रेवेन्यू मिनिस्टर साहब वर्क बोर्ड के ऑफिशियल्स एक मीटिंग कर सकते हैं सर मीटिंग कर कर देख सकते हैं पता कर सकते हैं कि कौन से गवर्नमेंट लैंड है क्यों गवर्नमेंट लैंड है और यह क्यों वर्क बोर्ड अपनी लैंड बोल रही है we can we can reach to some settlement at least the confusion can be 
कैन कैन फिनिश सर ये चीज नहीं हो रही है तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि आप इस पर भी गौर करेंगे सर जैसे कि आप जानते हैं श्रीधर बाबू साहब भी जानते हैं वो मेरे साथ ऐवान में थे बरसा बरस और वो सुने हैं कि मनीकोंडा जागीर के बारे में मनीकोंडा जागीर के लिए जब टीआरएस हुकूमत में नहीं थी तेलंगाना के लिए एजिटेशन कर रही थी तो मनीकोंडा वफ की जमीन है कहकर मेरे साथ मुकदमा लड़ी और लड़ने के बाद में हाई कोर्ट में जीते मैं मैं भी था उसमें और टीआरएस पार्टी भी थी और तेलंगाना बना तेलंगाना बनने के बाद तेलंगाना के इकतदार पर टीआरएस आई सुप्रीम कोर्ट में केस गया और वो टीआरएस जिसने मनीकोंडा के लिए वफ की जमीन है कहकर मुकदमा लड़ी वही टीआरएस गवर्नमेंट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में यह कहकर लड़ी कि नहीं ये गवर्नमेंट लैंड है तो वो सारी जमीन एक हजार छह सौ चिल्लर एकर वफ की जमीन चले गई चले गई सर सर एंड मोर ओवर सर मैं आप सुन के हैरत करेंगे कि कांग्रेस गवर्नमेंट बोलती है कि हमने इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट बनाया है हमारे दौर में मुबारक आपने बनाया है सही है लेकिन ये क्यों भूल जाते हैं कि वो इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट भी वफ की जमीन पर बना है हजरत बाबा शरफुद्दीन साहब की पहाड़ी पर बना है वफ की जमीन है तो देर इज सो मेनी केसेस सर मैं आपके जरिए हुकूमत से दरखास्त करूंगा कि आए बैठते हैं बैठ के इस मसले को हल करते हैं हल करेंगे जरूरी है क्योंकि इस तरीके से वक्त बोर्ड एक तरफ तो मुकदमा हार रहा है दूसरी तरफ हुकूमत क्लेम कर रही है सर अगर वक्त की जायदादें प्रोटेक्ट हो जाती हैं तो हमको गवर्नमेंट की मदद की जरूरत नहीं है वफ करने वालों ने तालीम के लिए वक्त किया है वफ करने वालों ने बेवाओं के लिए वक्त किया है वफ करने वालों ने बीमारों के लिए वक्त किया है वफ करने वालों ने मक्का और मदीना के लिए वक्त किया है वफ करने वालों ने इलम के लिए भी वक्त किया तो मैं आपके जरिए हुकूमत से दरखास्त करूंगा कि बीस साल से अकबर ओवैसी यहां खड़ा है चीख रहा है चिल्ला रहा है और काफी जायदादे और काफी जायदादे तो प्लीज इसको प्रोटेक्ट करिए हमारे मुतालबे पर सी बी सी आई डी की इंक्वायरी का ऑर्डर दिया था सबका चीफ मिनिस्टर साहब ने तो मैं जानना चाहता हूं कि सी बी सी आई डी की इंक्वायरी की रिपोर्ट कब टेबिल होगी इंक्वायरी कब मुकम्मल होगी कब वो लोग जो आकाफी जायदादों को लूटे हैं उनको जेलों में डाला जाएगा उनके खिलाफ कब कार्रवाई होगी हम चाहते हैं कि वो लोग जिन्होंने आकाफी जायदादों को लूटा है तबाह किया है बर्बाद किया है उनको भी सजा देनी चाहिए मुझे खुशी है कि हम कालेश्वरम पर मेरीगढ़ा पर बहस करते हैं और बोलते हैं कि हमारे हमारे पैसे हैं जो लगे हैं उसमें करप्शन हुआ और प्रोजेक्ट सही नहीं हुए इंक्वायरी की बात हो रही है और खसूरवारों को सजा देने की बात हो रही है मगर यह मैं कहूंगा कि वो स्टेट का पैसा है तो औकाफी जायदादों की तबाही औकाफ का पैसा अल्लाह का पैसा है ऑल का पैसा है वो पैसा जो तबाह हो रहा है उस पर भी हमको कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए अगर हम कार्रवाई नहीं करेंगे तो वक्त बोर्ड में कुछ भी नहीं बचेगा दे विल बी नथिंग सर सर गोइंग फॉर द सर सर थ्रू यू सर आई वुड लाइक टू ब्रिंग टू द नोटिस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यू सर सर आई हैड रेज इन माई गवर्नर स्पीच मैंने मुतालबा किया कि रमजान का महीना आ रहा है रमजान की मीटिंग बुलाइए रमजान के इंतजाम करिए कुछ पैसे दीजिए सर ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर ऑन द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एम आई एम पार्टी इन मी जी ओ एटी वन डेटेड थ्री इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन माइनॉरिटीज रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड फाइव करोर्स ग्रांट इन एड फॉर द पेंडिंग रेनोवेशन एंड रिपेयर ऑफ वेरियस वर्क इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द तेलंगाना स्टेट ऑलमोस्ट वन थाउजेंड इंस्टीट्यूशन वन थाउजेंड इंस्टीट्यूशन रिसेंटली रुपीज वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोर्स वे रिलीज रिलीज फ्रॉम द फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट फंड वे रिलीज टू द कंसर्न डिस्ट्रिक्ट कलेक्टर्स टू टेक अप द पेंडिंग रेनोवेशन एंड रिपेयर वर्क ऑफ वेरियस वर्क इंस्टीट्यूशन However, on ground, the works have not yet started in majority of the places, and some of the works are still pending. I request the government to call for the completion reports regarding these works and execution of these works, sir. Sir, honourable speaker, sir, is me hua kya? Me bolta hu, sir. Collectors ko finance department se paisa diya gaya. Lekin us waqt ke maujuda 
ٹی آر ایس کی حکومت نے ہماری نمائندگی پہ پیسہ ریلیز کیا ہم کو خوش کر دیا اکبر صاحب آپ بولے ایک سو پانچ دے دیے اور وہاں کلیکٹرز کو بولے یہ پیسہ کہاں لگانا ہے لگا دو بعد میں دیکھا جائے گا اور ایک سو پانچ کوڑ پہ نہیں لگایا گیا سر این ایکشن شوڈ بی انیشیٹڈ اگینس آل دوس کلیکٹرز ہو ایف مس یوز دیس فنڈز فور ادر ورک سر این دیس ورک شوڈ بی کمپلیٹڈ بی فور رمضان سر ہم کو ایڈیشنل پیسہ دینے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے سر اگر یہی کام ہو جائے گا تو کئی مساجد پہ کام ہو جائے گا کئی درگاہوں پہ کام ہو جائے گا رمضان میں مسلمانوں کو کافی ہوگی ہنڈڈ این فائیو کروڑ سر ہنڈڈ این فائیو کروڑ سر آپ کلیکٹرز سے مانگائیے صاحب ریپورٹ مانگا کے ان سے تفصیلات لیجئے سر ایڈ دا سیم ٹائم سر درگا برانے شاہ صاحب کے بلا سر وومن ایمپاورمنٹ سینٹر کے لیے میں نے مطالبہ کیا کہا ٹوئنٹی کروڑ ریلیس کریں ورک پینڈنگ ہے سر دس سال سے کام ہو رہا ہے میں آپ کے ذریعے حکومت سے درخواست کروں گا کہ وہ میری کانسٹنسی میں چندرائن گٹے میں درگا برانے شاہ کا اس کے لیے کچھ پیسے دی دیئے کانٹریکٹر کو پیسے نہیں دیئے وہ چھوڑ کر چلا گیا نئے کانٹریکٹر کو دی کر دے کر وہ کام مکمل کروائیے کرمل گڑا کی درگا میں پچاس اکر ہم خبرستان کو لیے اور تیس اکر بتیس اکر آنا ہے رنگارڈی کلیکٹر کو بول دیجئے تھرٹی ٹو ریمیننگ اکرز بھی دے دیجئے تو پورا ایک کام مکمل ہو جائے گا پھر اس کے ساتھ ساتھ سر حج ہاؤس کے بازوں میں پرانی بلڈنگ ہے دس سال سے سلابز ڈال کے پڑے ہیں اس کو کمپلیٹ کرانے کے لیے ہمارے مطالبے پر ٹوئنٹی فائف کروز ریلیز ہوئے تھے پھر یہ بھی ہوئے تو میں جاننا چاہتا ہوں کہ کیا ہوا اس کا بی آروز تو دیئے گئے لیکن پیسہ آیا نیا نہیں معلوم اور سر اس کے ساتھ ہے ساتھ سر the rent for the timiris buildings are pending since eight months since eight months recently Mr. Kanti Wesley IS was transferred there is no one to look after TS MFC and TS CM FC sir sir already the Urdu Academy ka post vacant hai is ko fill kariye Hajj Committee ka post vacant hai us ko see a آپ فل کریے سی او وک بورڈ انچارج ہے بورڈ کو کانسٹیٹیوٹ کریے کسی کو بھی چیئرمن بنائیے سی ای ڈی ایم انچارج سی ای ڈی ایم ایک ہے جس کے ذریعے کوچنگ دی جاتی ہے وہ بھی کچھ نہیں ہے اس میں بھی لائیے سر دارت المعارف آلسو انڈر عثمانیہ یونیورسٹی میں ہے جہاں پہ اردو کے مینسکرپس ہیں بہت سارے پرشین عربیق بہت کچھ ہیں اور دس سال سے تلنگانہ حکومت نے دارت المعرف کو نگلک کیا بار بار ہم نے کہا میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ یہ حکومت اس پر بھی غور کرے گی اور ریگلر آفیسر شل بھی پوسٹڈ فور بیٹر ایمپلیمنٹیشن آف مینورٹی ویل فیر سکیم سر سر ہم دیکھتے ہیں مینورٹی ویل فیر ڈپارٹمنٹ میں تروی ہو آئی ریکویس دا گورنمنٹ ٹو پلیس کال فور دی ڈیٹیلز آف دی ایمپلائیز ورکنگ ان مینورٹی ڈپارٹمنٹ کام کرنے والے لوگ ہی نہیں ہیں سر اس وجہ سے سکیم سکسیسفولی ایمپلیمنٹی نہیں ہوتی ہیں اور پھر کہتے ہیں کہ ہم نے یہ دے دیا وہ دے دیا سر سر اوورسیز کالرشپ نوٹیفیکیشن has not been issued I request that through you the government should issue that notification سر اور سر سٹوڈنٹس کا میں نے کہا ہے آپ سے امید کرتا ہوں کہ اس پر بھی غور کریں گے امام اور موزنوں کو انہانسمنٹ کریں گے بولے انہانسمنٹ جب ہوگا ہوگا میں یہ کہوں گا ان کے جو ڈیوز ہے رمضان کا مہینہ آ رہا ہے وہ ڈیوز کو کلیر کر دیجئے مہانہ مہانہ پرانے حساب سے دے دیجئے وقت پہ تو رمضان میں ان کی مدد ہو جائے گی اردو آفیسر سرویسز شوڈ بی اوٹلائز ان ڈسٹرکس فور بیٹر مانیٹرنگ آف اردو سر سر مینالٹ اور اس انیس الگروہ سر سر انیس الگروہ there's a very big building سر سر I have been fighting for this انیس الگروہ right from the time of Mr. when Mr. Vyas Rashikar Reddy was the chief minister Sir, that Anisul Gurwa was earlier with the Hindu Endowment Department. A case was won by the work board, but still it wasn't transferred. Rashikar Reddy sahab gave an order. It was transferred to work board. Then Rashikar Reddy sahab gave some amount for renovation of Anisul Gurwa. Then I again demanded. Then Rashikar Reddy sahab gave 300 square yards which, wa which had gone under road widening. Then I requested to Roshaya sahab. He gave again 500. Then I requested to Kiran Kumar Reddy sahab. He gave again 300. Then I requested to KCR sahab. Now it is on almost 4,000 square yards of land and a big building is standing there, sir. Sir, now the building is there. They want to let out for commercial activity. Sir, through you I request, sir, let us not give this 
property for any commercial purpose, sir. We can give that space for Timri's office. We can give it for minority other. We can give it for social welfare, sir. Ek yatim khana hai musalmanon ka, gharibon ka. Usme ek Timri's ka school chalaiye, sir. Sir, usme gharib bachon ki madad ke liye ek chota sa ek basti dawa khana dal dijiye, sir, waha pe. Agar aap shops ko denge, to ek do mene kiraya aega, baad mein koi bhi kiraya nahi dega, sir. To mene umid karta hoon ke aap اس پر بھی غور کریں گے جو مسائل کو میں نے اٹھایا ہے سر سر at the same time سر so the congress has also promised to rename Dalit Bandhu scheme as Ambedkar Abhaya Hastam and extend it to STs also to raise the financial assistance of rupees 12 lakh per family however there is no mention of the continuation of Dalit Bandhu scheme and the reduction in allocation of SC welfare indicates that no budgetary provisions has been made in the scheme for the year 24-25, sir. Sir, regarding the minority sub-plan, sir, and BC sub-plan, I may point out that this has been the persistent demand of AIMM in the United Andhra Pradesh when the Congress was in power and in Telangana state after the formation, sir. Sir, I would suggest to Telangana government to enact a legislation on the patterns of Act No. 6 of 2022 the AP Minorities Component Outlay Allocation and Utilization of Financial Resources Act 2022 and Act No. 13 of 2019, the APBC Subplan, the Planning Allocation and Utilization of Financial Resources Act 2019 for and marking the funds for minorities in BCs in the state budget, sir. Sir, I hope that the government will bring the bills providing for minority Special Development Fund and BC Special Development Fund in the state budget and mark the allocation for these two sub-plans in the full-fledged budget for 24-25, sir. Sir, I welcome the decision of the government to conduct the caste survey by taking up door-to-door -door household survey for eliciting the data to estimate the social, econo social educational, ec economic, employment, and political opportunities for the various caste in general and the BCs in particular, sir. Sir, I hope that the caste census will be completed within six months of the Congress tenure as promised in the manifesto, as promised a separate ministry for backward classes, MBC and separate finance corporation for all major BCs caste would be established soon, sir. The existing finance corporation and cooperative society federation for the various BC groups will be strengthened with allocation of more funds for the assisting these groups. I welcome the assurance that the fee reimbursement will be done and scholarship will be paid on time to the students under the new regime. The TSRTC has to augment in fleet and replace the old buses in view of the growing demands of public transport. Few, few new buses have been <coughs> bought. So I, 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 I welcome the government's initiative of buying new buses, sir. Fueled partly by the free travel for own, the worn-out buses and the services are causing delays in scheduled services and also causing accidents claiming innocent humans, sir. Currently, 25 lakh women and girls are traveling in free in TSRTC buses out of 50 lakhs commuters every day. This is causing revenue loss of 13 crores a day to the TSRTC and government has provided 2,384 crores in the next year's budget, sir. However, the current Current loss of 13,000 crores per day, the allocation has to be raised to 4,745, sir. So the state has enacted the TSRTC Absorption of Employees into Government Services Act 2023, which entails additional expenditure of rupees 3,000 crores annually on the state exchequer and account of absorption of over 45,000 RTC employees in government services. The government has to take provision for allocation of this amount for the RTC employees in the state budget, sir. The Congress has fulfilled it's guaranteed to introduce Gruha Jyoti scheme to supply 200 units of free power to eligible families. The vote on account budget allocates rupees 2,418 crore for the free power scheme, sir. Sir, Honorable Speaker, sir, sir, there were 1.27 domestic consumers served by the two discounters in the state during year 22 and 23. Thus, there are 1 crore domestic cons consumers consuming about 200 crore, 200 crore units per month or 2,500 crore unit per annum. The average tariff of consumption below 200 units come to rupees 4 per unit, whereas the cost of supply for domestic consumers as per the TS electricity regulation ERC orders comes to rupees 7.09 per unit for both TSS, PDCL, TSN, PDCL. So for transport discount, the vote on account budget of rupees for the year 24-25 proposes 16,825 crores by the budget document volume 
one by one indicates an allocation of 16,812.62 crores. Then look at the speaker, that this is the figures. Now, if I say it, then they come to me. Sir, what is the budget in the budget? What is the figure in the book? This is not the tally, sir. I don't understand when the wrong thing is going to happen. We need to correct this, sir. Sir, moreover, another budget document, that is one by two, provides only rupees 12,991.34 crores for energy department. I don't know which figures to believe, as the deputy CM sahab holds the both portfolios in finance and power. Sir, the deputy CM sahab has said in his budget speech, page 15, that the government has proposed rupees, rupees 40,080 crores for Panchayat Raj and rural development. I would like to bring to the notice of Honorable, my learned friend and legislative affairs minister sahab, Sir, however, in the budget papers, volume 1 by 2, statement of demands for grants, the allocation is 11,824.81 crores for Panchayat Raj and rupees 19,640.27 crore for rural development. And total allocation for these two demands come to 31,414 crores. Now, I don't know where the amount rupees 6,665.46 have disappeared. Where has it dis uh, disappeared? Where has it gone? I say it, so they come to anger. But sir, this is the responsibility of the house. They should give the right figures. Sir, if I go further, then you will be surprised and you will say that no, Akbar Sahib, it can't be like this. I have a whole statement of the health department. What are you saying from the health department? And what is the statement? It's full, sir. So, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, now you can see, sir, as per budget book 24-25, sir, road building, port, school education, higher education, technical education, here is 21,378. And in this 1-2 volume, the amount that is mentioned, that amount is 21,378.17, sir. Sir, as per the budget speech of finance minister, it is 21,389. 378 यहाँ है, 21 करोड़, तो सवाल ये है ये figures क्यों गलत है? Sir medical and health sir, sir as per the volume one by two sir, 11,072.49 and as per budget speech, finance minister साहब says 11,500. So social welfare department, tribal welfare और फिर हम इसमें लेते हैं sir 18,000 इसमें भी पूरे गलत है sir. तो ये sir मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि Sir, now we'll give an explanation, sir. I know what explanation they will give. Sir, we haven't taken that. But, sir, my question is that backward classes may, backward classes may, 24-25, 1 by 2 volume may, 8,000 crores bol rahe, or finance minister ki speech may be 8,000 crores bol rahe. Sahi hai. Phir uske baad mein minority welfare ke baare mein, 2,262, Finance Minister Saab bhi wohi bole, yeh sahi. To yeh sahi hai aur woh galat kiyo hai? Bhai, ya to phir yeh bhi waisi aana tha, joh bhi explanation hai. Mein umeed karta hoon ke is par ghor karenge. Sir, I may also point out that Asra pensions came under the PV of rural development. At present there are 43 lakh 72,210 Asra pensions in Telangana state. And another 10 to 12 lakh applications are pending for approval from last year, sir. For the existing beneficiary, the state government was releasing rupees 982.17 crores per month. The Congress has promised to double the pension amount to rupees 4,000 per month, sir. Sir, at this rate, the allocation needs to be raised to rupees 23,572.08 crores for the existing beneficiaries and the rate of rupees 1,964. 1,964.34 crores needs per month, sir. But in order account budget for the year 24-25, sir, only rupees 19,640.27 crores has been allocated for the rural development department, sir. Sir, I would like to have a clarification as to how the government would pay the rupees 4,000 pension to all the existing pensioners, sir. It is very important, sir. Sir, now going further ahead, sir, the Congress also promised 
to raise the pension to disabled to rupees 6,000, and I would like to know when the promise is likely to be implemented, sir. So drinking water problem is likely to get acute in summer month this year due to adverse seasonal condition during the last monsoon, which affected the minor irrigation resources in Gram Panchayat, and as also in flows into the major dams as as Jurala, Sri Salam, Nagarjuna on the River Krishna, Sri Ram Sagar on Godavari, sir. So the water supply for GHMC and other municipalities and municipal corporations in Hyderabad is going to be severely affected as the water levels in Sri Salam and Nagarjuna Sagar have plummeted a near depletion level, sir. So the Godavari drinking water scheme provides only 172 MGD from Yellampali Barrage to GHMC and HMDA. And the remaining quantum comes mainly under Krishna water supply scheme stage 1, 2, and 3, sir. I would like to know about the contingency plan in this regard, sir. Because it is very important, sir. Garma aega, garma mein Ramzan bhi aega. To roze daro ko paani ki taklif na ho. Is liye hum bar bar keh rahein ke ek Ramzan ki meeting bula lijiye. Ta ke hum in masail ko rakh sakte hain. Aur iske zariye hum in masail ka hal bhi dhoon sakte hain, sir. Sir, already under the existing stream, free drinking water supply is provided up to 20,000 liters per month to 4.5 lakh household in twin cities, sir. So the Congress government has promised to raise the quantum to 25,000 liters per month. The Hyderabad Metro Water has to be provided additional allocation for raising the quantum of free supply, sir. Thank you, sir. बीच में हैदराबाद मिनिस्ट्री के आयुष्यत पे हमने जीएचएमसी का रिव्यू किया है क्योंकि थोड़े पेपर में ऐसी पानी का दिक्कत होगा ऐसा न्यूज़ आता था तो हमने एचएमडीडब्ल्यू को वाटर वर्क्स को वाले को और उसको सबको मिला के डिटेल सोर्स और स्टोरेज और नीचे तक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तक हमने रिव्यू और जो रमजान के बारे में इससे पहले भी आपने बात कहा था और सीएम साहब ने फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस में बोला है असेंबली के बाद और रमजान का प्रिपरेशन जो भी काम है उसके बारे में मीटिंग बुलाएगा ये उसको आपको यकीन जल्दी असेंबली जाता होता ही आपको बुलाएंगे थैंक यू सर सर एवरीबॉडी यू नो दे हैव एन ऑब्जेक्शन व्हेन दे हैज एन समबडी इंटरवींस एंड स्टॉप सो बट आई आई वुड से सर Thank you, sir, sir, for intervening. I got some, some time to have some glass of water, sir. I want to say this. No, no, sir. Please take it in a... Please take it in a... No, no, don't talk about this. Sir, I'm thanking you for your support. That because of your intervention, I got a little time to take a breath. That's what I want to say. Sir, the allocation for municipal administration and urban development in the vote of account budget for 2019-20 is 11,692 crores, sir, as per the budget speech, sir, rupees 11,582 crores as per the budget document, sir. The allocation of rupees 11,082 crores in budget estimate for the year 23-24 and the marginal increase in next year will not mitigate the financial crisis in the urban local bodies of the state, sir. So the Chief Minister of himself is holding the municipal administration, uh, administration portfolio and I may point out there is a need to tone up the functioning of MAUD department as well as the GHMC, Hyderabad Metro Waterworks and HMDA, other UDAs and 142 municipal corporations and municipalities across the state, sir. Sir, Honorable Panel Speaker, sir, the Deputy CM Saab had pointed out the new government would implement the recommendation of State Finance Commission to release the funds to Panchayat Raj institutions and local bodies. The F SFC has recommended that 11% of state-owned net revenue taxes shall be, shall, be, uh, shall be for the RPIs and ULBs in the ratio of 61 is to 39. However, this commitment is not reflected in allocation for municipal administration, sir. So the, the Deputy Chief Minister Saab has also announced the government's commitment to decongest Hyderabad and to develop all regions in the state, sir. As per the scheme, separate plans will be made for, divide, for dividing the state into three zones in Hyderabad at the center. Hyderabad inside the outer ring road will be treated as an urban area. The regional be region between ORR and proposed regional ring road, RRR, will be pre-urban and area outside RRR will be rural zo zone, sir. Sir, I think this proposal needs Exhaustive study and the government should seek suggestions from all the stakeholders, including the major political parties and elected representatives, sir. Sir, I may also recall that the Congress pro promised to revitalize re uh, the Setwin and would request the government to upgrade the Setwin, sir. I the governor's speech in the Setwin, I will say that I will do it again. I will say that you have to do it again and the industrial training institutes and the 
जो एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी सेंटर्स हैं वो भी अगर सेटविन के में लाते हैं तो इससे काफी फायदा होगा सर सर द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोपोजिंग टू सेट अप स्किल यूनिवर्सिटी इन सेंटर अक्रॉस द स्टेट सर द गवर्नमेंट इज एश्योर टू एलोकेट मोर फंड टू खुली खुतुब शाह अर्बन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी सर वेन आई टॉक अबाउट खुली खुतुब शाह अर्बन डेवलपमेंट अथॉरिटी सर सर थ्रू यू आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू काइंडली स्पीड अप द चार मीना पेरिस्टनाइजेशन प्रोजेक्ट सर चार मीना पेरिस्टनाइजेशन का प्रोजेक्ट कब से सर जमाने से चल रहा है सर 20 साल हो गए लेकिन चार महीना पेस्टनाइजेशन प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट नहीं होता लाल बाजार के फसाद का है मीरालम मंडी को अच्छा बनाने का है ये भी काम पेंडिंग है मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि इस पर भी हुकूमत गौर करेगी द जी एच एम सी इज फेसिंग ए सीवियर फाइनेंशियल कंसर्न द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नीड्स टू कम टू इट्स रेस्क्यू इमीडिएटली बाई रिलीजिंग ग्रांट ऑफ रूबीज वन ट्वेंटी करोड़ फॉर पेमेंट ऑफ सैलरीज ऑफ जी एच एम सी स्टाफ एंड वन थाउजेंड करोड़ फॉर क्लियरिंग द बिल फॉर द कैपिटल वर्क सर सर मैं बहुत ही तेज हुकूमत की तरफ इस बात की तवज्जो लाना चाहता हूं सर सर द प्रीवियसली जीएचएमसी वाज गेटिंग 100 करोड़ अंडर टैक्स फॉर होर्डिंग्स एंड एलईडी लाइट्स नाउ इट इज रिड्यूस्ड टू रुपीस 18 करोड़ पर एनम गवर्नमेंट नीड्स टू कंसंट्रेट एंड एड्रेस ऑन दिस इशू सर सर जीएचएमसी हैज टेकन लोन्स ऑफ रुपीस 6374.48 करोड़ फॉर वर्क ऑफ एसआरडीपी सीआरएमपी एसएनडीपी वर्क एंड हुटको लोन एंड जे एन एन यू आर एम पेंडिंग वर्क सर जे एन एन यू आर एम हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एस आर डी पी फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सी आर एम पी रोड में थ्री जीरो थ्री पॉइंट फोर एट करोड़ सर एस एन डी पी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड एटी करोड़ द टोटल लोन अमाउंट फॉर द जी एच एम सी एस सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट फोर एट करोड़ सर अब इसके बाद में अब आप देखिए सर सर ड्यूरिंग द मोरटोरियम पीरियड ऑफ करंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर रुपीज सिक्सटी एट करोड इज इज पेड एज ए इंटरेस्ट पर मंथ एंड रुपीज वन नॉट फाइव हैव टू बी पेड फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइनेंशियल ईयर फॉर द ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एज इंटरेस्ट एंड प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट सर जब हम देखते हैं जेन एन यू आर एम सर द लोन अमाउंट आपका था जो वन फोर्टी करोर अमाउंट जो ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर में देना है अगर हम एस आर डी पी बॉन्ड एस आर डी पी रुपी टर्म लोन वन एस आर डी पी टर्म टू एस आर डी पी टर्म थ्री एस आर डी पी टर्म फोर एस आर डी पी टर्म फाइव जो टोटल लोन अमाउंट इज सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सर अमाउंट पेबल इज एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर और ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइनेंशियल ईयर में जो अमाउंट पे करना रहेगा अमाउंट जो पे करना रहेगा इंटरेस्ट का दैट वुड बी वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन करोड़ सर पता नहीं है कैसे करें सर आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट द डेवलपमेंट विच एज कम We appreciate that the work works were taken up, the development was taken up, but I would say that the the GHMC was not managed as it should have been managed, sir. आज तनखा देने को पैसे नहीं है, sir. Sir, according to official record, the rupees one thousand two hundred crore GHMC have to pay the pending bills of contractors, sir. Contractors, the GHMC main office number of bills pending. 160 charminar zone 1591 khairtabad zone 1044 kukatpalli zone 809 lb zone 633 sikandarabad zone 692 sri rangampalli zone 612 the total pending bills are 5541 the amount pending is 1153.57 crores sir the honorable panel speaker sir government has to come for the rescue sir अब जीएचएमसी हैदराबाद सर हमारा हैदराबाद ही है जहां से तेलंगाना को रेवेन्यू आएगा हैदराबाद ही है जहां से हमको पैसा आएगा अब अगर हैदराबाद को हम खराब होने देंगे और मुझे यकीन है कि हुकूमत हैदराबाद को खराब होने नहीं देगी बल्कि इसको और आगे ले जाएगी सर मैं हुकूमत से दरखास्त करूंगा जो गवर्नमेंट ड्यू है जीएचएमसी को जो ड्यू है जो सबका हुकूमत टीआरएस की हुकूमत कभी नहीं देती थी कम से कम आप दे दीजिए सर सर ड्यूज आर प्रोफेशनल टैक्स 300 करोड़ प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स फॉर गवर्नमेंट बिल्डिंग्स 107 करोड़ फंड फॉर पटना प्रगति 227 करोड़ म्यूटेशन फीस 175.46 करोड़ ट्रांसफर ड्यूटी 2950 करोड़ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ड्यूज टू जीएचएमसी is 3759.46 crore sir agar ye paisa agar mil jata hai honorable panel speaker sir isme se aadha de do sahab aap aadha aap de dijiye 1500 dijiye nahi to ghmc mein pura kaam ruka hua hai light ke maintenance nahi ho rahi hai sir sir there is there is a switch with which they are supposed to switch off the lights street lights 
the, the people who were supposed to switch off the lights, they went on a strike and the lights were burning. Teen, teen, din, char, char, din, jalte rahe, sir. Sir, I want to bring you to the government. One and one is an important issue, pe, sir. Log hasenge, main bolunga, to, lekin it is very important, sir. It is very important, sir. Dog bites, sir. GHMC, mein. in the year 2023, 20, sir, 30,289, sir. In the year 2022, 80,281. You tell me, those who can stop the dog from the dog, they can't stop the dog from the dog, they can't stop the dog from the dog. Now, the people have given you the chance. You do something for this. The dog biting is rising, sir. There are so many dogs, sir. There are so many dogs. Go anywhere. मोटरसाइकिल पे जाओ कुत्ते हैं बच्चे यहां जाते हैं बच्चे जाते हैं बाइक्स पे कुत्ते हैं तो ये बहुत ही एक सीरियस मैटर है सर मेरे पास डॉग बाइट्स के पूरे केसेस का है सर सुबह फजर की नमाज में सर जनवरी में 2580 फरवरी में 2475 मार्च में 2475 अप्रैल में 2642 मई में 2 these are the issues जिस पर कोई बात नहीं करता है और और हमारे हैदराबाद के residents sir they get angry and upset why are the legislatures not talking about these issues sir the pollution is becoming an issue sir the traffic jam is becoming an issue sir we need to have more parallel roads we need to have more flyovers sir we need to have more bus connectivity sir we need to have more metro train sir we need to have junction improvement sir so pollution is increasing, sir. I hope that the government will be able to do this with Sanjeevdiki, sir. Sir, I welcome the announcement of Chief Minister Saab on realignment of proposed metro line, sir. I hope and trust the metro line passing through all city stretches from Imbliman, Falaknuma to be completed and the new line from Falaknuma to Shamshabad Airport, LB Nagar and Shamshabad via Chandra and Gutta will be taken up soon, sir. Sir, right to Bandhu scheme has been renamed as right to Barossa and it is to be extended to tenant farmers and agricultural laborers. The deputy CM says that the scheme is being reviewed and the assistance would be provided only to eligible beneficiaries at a higher quantum of Rs. 15,000 per acre. The manifesto promises that, that assistance will be provided to both the land-owning farmers and tenant farmers. I would like the government to clarify whether both the landowners and tenant farmers will get the assistance for the same price of same piece of land, sir. So the farmers are eagerly waiting for right to borrow assistance as well as the loan waiver up to rupees 2 lakh and the government needs to announce the timeline for this at the earliest. Sir. So the government has constituted a five-member committee to study Dharani portal and suggest measures to resolve the problem it created. I would like to know how soon committee will make, would make its recommendation and whether Dharani will be replaced by another portal, Bhumata. The vote on account budget has provided 21,378.17 crores for the year 24-25 as against rupees 19,051.42 crores in budget estimate for 2023 and 24 for education, sir. The Telangana public schools are proposed in every mandal and the allocation of rupees 500 crores have been made for this scheme, sir, on the pilot basis. Sir, I welcome this, but at the same time, sir, I would like to come on record and say that the school education was neglected for the last 10 years, sir. We have been screaming and shouting and say, saying that the government schools need to be concentrated. End of the tenure, sir. Akri me elan kare ke le lenge school bana denge. Lekin schools were neglected, sir. We need to strengthen the school education department, sir. For creation of infrastructure in the state universities, include Usmania University, rupees 500 crores allocated. But I think Usmani University alone would require this amount, sir. We need more amounts, sir. I welcome the move to preserve the historic structure of Osmania General Hospital while taking up construction of modern infrastructures at the hospital campus. The Telangana government has taken up the construction of four super speciality hospitals in GHMC area. I hope that the work on these hospitals will continue, sir. So there, sir, when I say about the hospital, sir, so through you, I would like to bring to the notice of the government, sir, and also the in-charge minister of Hyderabad, sir. Sir, ek, ek GO humne 44 crores ka Balla Gune mein hospital ke construction ka release karwaya tha. Uska tender bhi hua hai. Aur ek zameen humne batai hai, jo Hyderabad Metro Waterworks ki hai. Jo 5 acre ki zameen hai, usme se 1 acre, 
एक एकड़ अगर वो देते हैं तो हॉस्पिटल आ जाएगा अगर आप हैदराबाद मेट्रो के एमडी को अगर बोलेंगे कि वो एक एकड़ जमीन दे दें तो 44 करोड़ जो मंजूर हुए हैं एक अच्छा आलीशान हॉस्पिटल पुराने शहर में आएगा और याखुदपुरे में एस कॉलोनी में भी हॉस्पिटल है ग्राउंड है उसको भी अगर आप पैसा देंगे तो वहां पर भी आएगा तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फोर सुपर स्पेशलिटी विच वेलकम सर डिप्टी सीएम साहब प्रोपोज रुपीज इलेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ फॉर मेडिकल एंड हेल्थ सेक्टर इन दोट ऑन अकाउंट बजट इवन एज कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो एड मेड डजन प्रोमिस इंक्लूडिंग एस्टेब्लिशमेंट सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल इन एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट हंड्रेड बेड सुपर स्पेशलिटी एंड मेटर्निटी हॉस्पिटल इन ईच असेंबली कॉन्स्टिटी हंड्रेड बेड हॉस्पिटल इन ईच म्यूनसिपालिटी द मैनिफेस्टो ऑल्सो प्रोमिस दट बजट शेयर फॉर हेल्थ सेक्टर विल बी डबल द फिगर अदरवाइज सर The, the budget allocation of rupees eleven thousand zero seven nine point four nine crores for the year twenty four twenty five, as per the budget document, indicates a cutback compared to the current year's budget allocation of eleven thousand five hundred and eighty five point four nine crores. And in fact, the allocation should be doubled at rupees twenty two thousand one four five crores for twenty twenty four twenty five, at eight percent of the state budget, as again four percent in the current year, sir. So the national health policy. says 8% of state budget should be allocated to health department total budget 2,75,890.60 crores 8% is rupees 22,971 sir sir as per the world health organization requirement the government has to increase the budget allocation of health to at least 2.5% of gsdp to meet its objective and requirement of 3.5 bed per 1000 people sir 2023 and 24 GSDP rupees sir uh, 13 lakhs 2,371 crores that is minus 2.5 that is 30 32,559 crores sir you know in all government hospital there are more than 10,000 vacancies of various categories and I hope all these vacancies will be filled up shortly sir the Congress manifesto on GHMC development. Promises that the government will establish four modern maternity hospital, four modern veterinary and pet care hospital, two modern ENT hospital, and two modern eye hospital apartment, four super speciality hospitals sanctioned by previous government in GHMC area, sir. The Hyderabad Youth Declaration, sir, you have promised that monthly unemployment allowance of rupees four thousand will be given to every unemployed youth till they are provided with employment or livelihood opportunities. However, Deputy CM Sir, budget speech makes no mention on this, as if there is no unemployed youth in the state, sir. So the youth declaration also promised that youth will be provided with interest-free loans of 10 lakhs to facilitate the education and livelihood opportunities under Young Women Empowerment Scheme. Ele ele electric scooters will be provided to all young women 18 under Vidya Vikasam Guarantee Bharosa Card 5 lakhs. Sir, however, there is no mention about this promise. Also, sir, sir, I welcome the Congress government's order extending accidental insurance coverage to gig workers and other uh, otherwise known as the delivery boys, sir. Under the housing program, the Congress manifesto promised houses, site, and assistance for five lakh construction, sir. Sir, houses. के बारे में जब आता हूँ तो मैं फिर से हमारे हैदराबाद के इंचार्ज मिनिस्टर साहब से कहना चाहूँगा कि घरों का पट्टा दे दिया गया और जो लोग घरों में जो बनाए गए हैं उनके पट्टे हैं उनको चाबी नहीं दी जा रही है घरों की उम्मीद करता हूँ कि उनको दे दिया जाएगा सर. In this budget speech, the deputy CM have announced rupees three thousand five hundred houses will be sanctioned to each assembly constituency under Indramma Illu scheme and proposed allocation of seven thousand seven hundred and fifty, sir. Sir, usme in the vote on account budget, however, for one hundred and nineteen constituency, the number of houses at three thousand five hundred per constituency works out to four thousand four lakh sixteen thousand five hundred units, sir. At the rate of five lakhs per housing unit, the amount required would be four lakh sixteen thousand five hundred. Units will be at rupees twenty thousand eight hundred and twenty-five crore, sir. I would like the minister sir to clarify on this, sir. I am also seeking clarification on the completion of two BHK housing units and different stages in construction and allotment of two BHK units to the beneficiaries already selected by the district collectors, sir. Through a lucky draw, selection होने के बाद भी उनको वो घर का ऑक्यूपेशन सर्टिफिकेट दे दिया गया लेकिन ऑक्यूपेशन राइट्स उनको वहां जाने के नहीं दिए गए तो उम्मीद करता हूं कि वो भी दे देंगे तो गवर्नमेंट हैज स्क्रैप द ग्रो लक्ष्मी स्कीम फॉर प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट बट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लैक्स ऑफ बेनिफिशियरी हैज बीन रिसीव्ड एट द रेट ऑफ 3000 पर असेंबली कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी आई वुड लाइक टू नो द फेट ऑफ दीस एप्लीकेशन सर सर रिगार्डिंग द रीजनल रिंग रोड आई मे पॉइंट आउट द प्रोजेक्ट हैज बीन डिलेड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड वुड बी बेटर टू स्टार्ट द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क on this project on fast track by initiating the process for land acquisition immediately sir so the deputy cm sahab had said that the government has allotted 100 acres sir construction of new telangana high court building sir however i may point out that existing high court complex has been accommodating the high court of the undivided ap and few with ago the government maternity hospital of amin bag adjacent to high court was shifted sir in fact the proposal of new high court complex of budwell was contemplated many years ago 
for the high court for undivided ap sir sir there is lot of history hai hamare high court ke bare mein nizam era ke lekin main ye zarur kahunga municipal corporation ka office purane sheher se chala gaya commissioner police ka office chala gaya aur phir command control banjara hill ko aa gaya ab ye high court bhi purane sheher se chala jayega main ummeed karta hu ki hukumat ki janib se is par denge sir i am just concluding with few issues sir this is a important geo 314 transfer of spouse pending in 13 district sir kindly sir through you i would like to bring sir hamari pareshani ye hai sir har waqt log humko aate hain representation dete hain sir morning mein before i leave my house i see lot of people standing there and they give the representation sir sir just give me 2 minutes so that i would just brief sir and, and it is and it is a very important issue sir geo 314 transfer of spouse ji ha sir 314 sir transfer of spouse pending in 13 district sir sir about uh, the second thing is about this ballagoda bus depot sir we have also wahan pe government land hai allotment ke liye navin mittal saab ke paas file pending hai main hyderabad in charge minister saab se bolunga ki zara unko bol ke usko clear karwaiye 10 saal pehle sridhar babu saab aap bhi aapko bhi yaad hoga cm saab uthke bole the ksr saab akbar saab ha hum ballagode mein aapke area mein registration office de denge ab tak nahi diye saab to zara wo registration office de dijiye sir बल्ला गुड़े में तो मैं आपसे तो अगर वो रहते तो दोहराता था सर सर मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा सर के के रेवेन्यू मिनिस्टर साहब को हैदराबाद इंचार्ज मिनिस्टर साहब को के एक बल्ला गुड़े में रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस जो साइवान में प्रॉमिस किया गया है बिल्डिंग है सिर्फ स्टाफ देना है मैरिज रजिस्ट्रेशन हो सकता है लैंड रजिस्ट्रेशन हो सकता है अब पूरे ओल्ड सिटी में आजमपुरे में एक रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिस है तो मैं उम्मीद करूंगा कि आप उसके ऊपर भी जरूर करेंगे और एंड वन मोर रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज अबाउट ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम एंड पीआरसी सर इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम एम्प्लॉयज अपॉइंटेड आफ्टर वन नाइन टू थाउजेंड फोर सर सर हु वेर एब्जॉर्ब इन न्यू पेंशन स्कीम थ्रू नोटिफिकेशन विद रिलीज सर एज प्रोमिस्ड इन मैनिफेस्टो सर द सिक्स गारंटीज सीरियल नंबर ट्वेंटी एट पेज ट्वेंटी सर abolish the current contribution pension scheme sir is taluq se bhi aur serial number 29 mein bhi hai sir prc ke bare mein bhi kahunga request to give promotion also sir this is a very important issue i have been raising this issue from quite a long time request to give promotion in arm reserve police constable head constable ari's and and which is pending in last two years sir sir sab logon ko promotion diya jata hai sir si tak promotion diya jata hai lekin bichare constables ko promotion dene kya jo tenure hai wo zyada hai तो इसके लिए भी मैं करेक्ट करने के लिए आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा रिलीज ऑफ जीपीएफ लोन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज विच इज बीन पेंडिंग फ्रॉम लास्ट टू इयर्स रिक्वेस्ट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूट द सेकंड पे रिवीजन कमीशन पीआरसी टू एग्जामिन रिकमेंड रिवीजन ऑफ सैलरीज टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज पेंशनर्स आउटसोर्सिंग एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एम्प्लॉयज एंड ऑल्सो सर कमल कमर्शियल स्टैक डिपार्टमेंट सर पोस्ट ऑफ ए सी टी ओ एड डीएसटी वर्क इन कमर्शियल डिपार्टमेंट इज नॉन गेजिटेड सर दे हैव बिन रिक्वेस्टिंग टू गिव दम the position of gazetted officers financial koi kuch nahi hai uske upar lekin kai baras se ye bhi pending hai main ummeed karta hu ki aap is par bhi aur karenge aur also sir about this nizam police ambar pet sir sir they have completed 34 year of services without any promotions sir they were appointed as constable and retiring also in same category presently 430 are working and request to enhance the strength to 730 if staff strength is enhanced the promotion process will be easy sir to promote the staff enhance the manpower sar cl cpl and ts unit file is the memo number 300 pura uska hai sir tafseel mein letter bhi deta hu sir regularization of university lecturer sir sir also tsw r eis staff sir there are around 567 teachers are working in contract basis since last 16 years in the telangana social welfare residential education institute society school without any complaints or request for regularization of their services sir also about the geo 314 sir which i have already mentioned sir i would not go urdu academy ke computer ke operators library ke employees hain sir wo log bhi bol rahe hain and sir very long pending issue about urdu 69 self finance junior college lecturer sir request to implement geo 162 issued in the year 2017 which is pending in this CMO's office sir file number 122 121201 oblique 1e oblique a1 oblique 2019 and 20 regarding 69 junior lecturers sir sir also main ye reinstate of artisans jo hai sab artisan 117 ए टी एस एस पी डी सी एल के हैं उनका भी एक नुमाइंदगी हमने की थी सर उसके बारे में भी आपसे कहूंगा सर ऑनरेबल 
panel speaker sir you have clubbed two discussions sir now supplementary demands are here sir if with your kind permission if i would be given a break of 10 15 minutes and then only 10 minutes i will have a discussion on the supplementary or if you say i will continue now only sir sir now going on the discussion for the supplementary estimate for expenditure of the year 23 24 The deputy CM Saab has presented the supplementary estimate for the financial year 23-24 in the open account budget for 24-25 presented in the House on the 10th February. He has provided the details of the revised estimate for the financial year 23-24 by the budget estimates of the total received as per revised estimate of rupees two lakh twenty five thousand three hundred and forty eight point sixty crore as against the budget estimate of two lakh eighty nine thousand six seventy two point six five crores in the current financial year that is twenty three twenty four similarly honorable panel speaker sir the total expenditure as per revised estimate is ru rupees two lakh twenty four thousand six hundred and twenty four point eight seven crores as against the budget estimate of two lakh ninety thousand two ninety six crores the fiscal deficit as per the revised estimate is rupees thirty three thousand seven eighty five point eight three crores as against The budget estimate of thirty-eight thousand two hundred and thirty-four point nine four crore. Honourable Panel Speaker, sir, I may be recalled that the Deputy CM Saab had said about the budget presentation with the previous government. I quote: "The previous government's budget was far from reality. It was inflated and receives and created the illusion that they are providing huge funds for different schemes." He further assured that we dispense with the terror. With a terrible practice, and we have estimated our receive realistically, and have made allocation accordingly. This shows our commitment to match our actions with our words. Now he has come up with a huge supplementary estimates, huge supplementary estimates of rupees forty-six thousand four hundred point four zero crores for current financial year. Sir, it is true that previous government tenure ended soon after eight months of the current financial year. Where over, thus the Congress came to power four months before the current financial year comes to close on thirty-first March, sir. So, honourable panel speakers, that the government has implemented some components of the six guarantees and other promises made in the manifesto, and it is likely that some more components of guarantees and other promises may be implemented before the current financial year ends of 31st March. Major allocation and supplementary estimates are indicated for irrigation, rupees 16,661. Point zero one agriculture rupees nine thousand eight hundred and fifty five point nine nine crores panchayat raj rupees five thousand eight hundred ninety point six four crores and energy rupees two thousand seven hundred and sixty four point three four crores. These four demands amount to thirty five thousand one hundred seventy five point nine eight crores and remaining thirty three demands account for balance of eleven thousand two hundred twenty four point four two crores. Sir, through you, I request the deputy CM Saab and the finance minister to enlighten us on the need for seeking such massive supplementary. Estimates of rupees forty six thousand four hundred point four zero crores. I would like to know the details of allocation for guarantees and other manifesto in the supplementary estimate for four months period, sir. Sir, I may also point out that Article three zero two zero five of the Constitution of India, Part six, the states dealing with the supplementary additional and excess grants says the governor shall a. If the amount authorized by any law made in accordance with the provision of Article 204 to be ex, uh, expended for a particular service for the current financial year is found to be insufficient for the purpose of that year, or when a, a need has arisen during the current financial year for supplementary or additional expenditure upon some new services not contemplated in annual financial statement for that year, B, sir. If any money has been spent on any service during financial year in excess to the amount granted for the services of the last year, caused to be laid before the house or the house of the legislature of the state, another statement showing the estimate amount of the expenditure or caused to be presented to the legislative assembly of the state, a demand such excess as the case may be, sir. So the revised estimate points to the shortfall in the receipt and the expenditure. There is a shortfall of rupees sixty-five thousand six seventy-one point one three crores in expenditure as per revised estimate compared to the budget estimate for the year twenty-three twenty-four. However, with the supplementary estimate for expenditure of rupees forty thousand four hundred point four zero crore in additional revised estimate of two lakh twenty-four thousand six hundred twenty-four point eight seven crore, the overall budgetary expenditure will rise to two lakh seventy-one thousand zero two five point. Two seven crores during 23-24. Since the state has already exhausted its borrowing limit and, uh, limit under FRB and Act by December 2023, I would like the Deputy CM Saab to clarify, to clarify as to how the state is contemplating 
to raise the financial receipts to meet the expenditure on the supplementary estimate before financial year closes on 31st March, sir. I hope the Deputy CM Saab would respond to all the issues raised by me in the supplementary estimate, sir. So in the supplementary estimate, sir, rupees 46.40 crore, which I had earlier just said, I don't see any provision made for the guarantee of promises being implemented by the Congress government, sir. So under the Transport Administration, the supplementary allocation is rupees 3.74 crores, but no provision has been made for free bus ride scheme for women, which requires release of subsidy of rupees 1,200 crores to TSRTC. Under the medical and health supplementary allocations of rupees 1,030.70 crore, no provision is made for doubling of arrogatory assistance of rupees 10 lakh. For energy department, supplementary allocation is rupees 2,365.96, including rupees 1,700 crore for taking over discom losses under Uday scheme and rupees 1,020.61 crore for subsidy of for agriculture. No provision is made for free power supply of 200 units to the domestic consumers, sir. For civil supplies administration, supplementary allocation of rupees 97.43 lakhs is made, but, but there is no provision for LPG cylinders at rupees 500 scheme. On the other hand, the supplementary estimate include a massive allocation of rupees 16,683.54 crore for irrigation department, including. Iska jawab dena, sir. Sir, panel speaker, sir, khatam kar raun, last paragraph, sir. Sir, on the other hand, the supplementary estimate include a massive allocation of rupees 16,006. 83.54 crores for irrigation department, including rupees 12,663.36 crores for Gajwell Circle. Gajwell Circle. So I welcome the supplementary allocation of rupees. No, I think they would have been happy. Sir, I welcome the supplementary allocation of rupees 135.20 crore for minority, for minority welfare, sir. And I conclude by once again Thanking you for giving me this opportunity, sir, for speaking. And I hope that the issues that I have raised with the city of Hyderabad, the minorities, the SCSTs and the BCs, the government will do more than the government. And the most important thing is that the whole colleges will give a letter to the 